everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. This video is going to be a fall decorate with me in our new house. We're gonna be decorating the living room, main living area, and I'm using a lot of the items that I used in my fall haul video, so I'll be linking that below, but let's go ahead and jump into the video. Here's the before of the shelves and what my bookshelves look like all summer long. So the key here is to take down all the starfish and the blue and white, give it a good cleaning. And then I want to incorporate fall elements among my everyday decor, keeping a similar layout to my bookshelves. I'm first using the Miss Myers multi-purpose cleaner in Acorn Spice. That one's my favorite fall scent for cleaners. It smells a little bit of spicy, warm, but clean. It's better than the apple cider in my opinion. <laughs> so I'm giving everything a good wipe down with this and it's getting me in that fall mood. I'm first going to start off with my acrylic book holder. I'm going to put down my Charlotte Moss coffee table book and I'm opening up to an autumnal looking page. I love these colors, including the brown and the brown is something I really wanted to incorporate. And then right next to that, I'm going to do a stack of coffee table books with a vase that I got from Home Goods. And then in that, as the autumnal element, I'm doing my Mackenzie Child picks that I showed in my fall haul. And you'll see me repeating this throughout the bookshelves. I love doing a stack of coffee table books with a vase or like a pumpkin or something like that on top of it, like I'm doing here. <laughs> so you'll definitely see that repeated over and over again. I love doing that th throughout the bookshelves, but in here, I'm just using a vase from Target, a bunch of fall leaves on top of the coffee table books. So a bunch of everyday decor with that autumnal element. I love it. And then this is a vase or a vase, sorry. This is a picture frame that I got from West Elm a few years ago with a printable that I had created. And so my printables are available in my Etsy shop. So I'll be linking that below. And then in front of that, I'm placing the Mackenzie Child's Beware Pumpkin set. I think this is super cute. I think this would be cute on mantle too, but I just did it up there across that. And then down below again, the coffee table books <laughs> and on top of that, I'm doing this super cute tiny Terry lamp from Visual Comfort. And you can see I'm like tucking the cord behind the coffee table books so you don't notice it too much. And I love this lamp. I wanna get another one to put on the other side so I can do like little matching things with it, but this is the cutest lamp ever. And it has that nice, like a nice warm element to the bookshelves without any fall there whatsoever. And I just love the way that that looks. And then next to it, I just have the fall pumpkins and that's it. And so again, coffee table books, boom, pumpkin. Next to that, I'm doing a collection of white vases and I got those from Amazon and Target. And then inside the larger white vase, I have this little tiny crystal vase that I got from since I was 15 years old. And I use that for the fall leaves in there to, to hold them the way that I wanted to. And I really love the way that that turned out. So subtle a lot of everyday decor just with those autumnal elements. Then down below that, I have my bowl filled with artichokes. And that again is, I consider that everyday decor because I think we can use those artichokes. It's so neutral, you can use them all year round. But I just put in those pheasant feathers to give me more of that autumnal feel. And then next to that, I'm doing my flower, my metal flower that I got from Get the Gusto. It's a local store here and they sell these handmade painted metal flowers and I think that they're beautiful. And so that's the start of my collection. And then in front of that, I'm putting just these cute little like acorn like little vases that I got from a online boutique called Home with He Cart. So I'll link them below because they're fabulous. I love everything that the store carries and then next to that just this little lantern with my luminar candle i love these candles because the batteries last forever in them and they look so real they flicker they're not orange love that and then down below that on this is the other side of the bookshelf and i'm bringing in that acrylic element with all of my little picture frames in there and another one of my printables Again, I'm mimicking the stack of coffee table books, but this time putting a pumpkin on top instead of a vase with fall leaves. And then above the fireplace, 
I'm using this putty to hold these candles in the candlesticks that I got from Magnolia a few years ago. Although I'm not impressed with the putty, I would rather do melted wax. I think that would work a little bit better in the candlesticks, but I do like the overall look. And then I just put a bunch of fall leaves. These are actually stems. It's not a vine from Hobby Lobby. And then in the middle is that cute little copper jack-o'-lantern with a little, again, Luminara tea light. And I got the copper jack-o'-lantern, by the way, from Home Goods, and I just think it's the cutest little thing ever. And then I got out my fall pillows, and let me tell you, I made a mistake by putting velvet pillows in a vacuum-sealed bag, and I learned never to do that. I mean, those ones are linen that you see right there, and I gotta fluff them up. They, they're in steam all day. Look, <laughs> they definitely look crushed, but the, those velvet ones, ooh, man, the, that is a sight for sore eyes. So I really gotta try to steam them and try to get the wrinkles out the best I, I can with them. My fall home tour will be my next video. So please consider subscribing if you'd like to see that. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Here is the overall look. I forgot to get a close up of the other side, but you will see what it all looks like together in a moment. I really love the way it turned out. I like them better than my summer shelves. So lastly, here is the before all the summer stuff and the after and i am loving it and by the way that is a screensaver i found here on youtube